That sure would be nice. You know, folks, it looks like we're getting ready to start. Yep. Showtime, everybody. Boy, this music just gets you moving, doesn't it, JC? Makes oh, you want to move Here we go. Every Tuesday night, maybe. Let's go. Let's hear it for sabotage. Let's Woo! get this show on the road. I look forward to this Apex every single week. Apex Championship Wrestling! And we see our lovely referee approaching the ring now. The lovely Shizuka Takahashi. Yes, seems like it. Yeah, definitely, lady. I hear you there. All right, the music oh, has stopped. Our beautiful, lovely referees in the ring. Yes. Look at that girl. She is beautiful. Hey, Wade, do you like puppies? Woohoo! I love puppies! <laughs> <laughs> love me some puppies. <laughs> Let's hear it for our lovely referee. <laughs> and her puppies. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's see what happens here. Oh, now... Why is he coming out? Why is he coming out? What's he got to do with this? This wasn't... Oh, God. Well, folks, there he is. There he is. The one and only. The, uh... What are we gonna... I, I don't even know what to say about him. Only one of a kind like him, I guess. Hollywood! I, I guess now that, that he's got people in his pocket, he's going to come out here and talk about his stable or something. I don't know. What's he want? He, want, he wants a big introduction. Look, he's got that belt. Whatever. This is Bollywood. Who the hell does he think he's fooling? Yes, Bollywood, how can we help you this week? Crying out loud, Wade. You talk to this idiot. <laughs> I agree with you fans out there. You suck.
Was there Definitely. something you wanted to say, Hollywood? What? Are you just out here for another selfie? Because I sure as hell don't want your autograph, you piece of shit. Easy, JC. Easy, JC. Family show, JC. Family show. This makes me throw up in my mouth a little bit every time he comes out here. <laughs> well, everyone, love him or hate him, it's Hollywood. Maybe he's out here to interfere with somebody's match like he did before last week. Sure know no, he's good at interfering things, don't we, Wade? Hello. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to speak to us. Hold on, hold on. Everybody quiet it down. Everybody quiet down. Quiet down. Hollywood's Give. talking. Like him or hate him, folks, he is the champion. Give the champion a chance to talk. Hey, your last DVD sucked ass. The floor is yours, Hollywood. The floor is yours. I hope they turned his mic off on deliberate. The monkey's in the back. Let's get that chant going, everyone. Bollywood. Bollywood. Just like the best films in the industry, you never see the ending coming. Just when you thought you had me where you wanted me, Rock, I did the unthinkable. I did something that has been in work for months. Not only is J.W. a great wrestler, he is a great actor. Better than you, anyway. What's that? Is that... Who's that who's in, the... in the ring? I don't know. Who's that in the ring? Not sure. Anyone who aligns themselves with Hollywood has instant success. Look at my lovely co-star. Look at the star of the starlets. Not only is she the sexiest woman alive, but she is one of the smartest as well to go out and get herself some muscle. She is also one half of the first couple of ACW. Who's he talking about? I don't know. Maybe a porn actress that he just hired. He is doing extends commercials nowadays and Viagra. Probably some hoochie mommy he picked up on Hollywood Boulevard. Unfortunately, Jessica could not be here today. The hoochie mamas. Did she have to pick up an extra shift on that corner? Is that what happened? She is shooting a scene in our upcoming movie. I see. Her I think somebody's pimp pan was strong and she's out there on that corner. But that's okay. She sent Giselle to take care of Kristen and has faith that she will get the title ready for Jessica to wear. But that's okay, okay. I don't know. I, uh, Can we have Scurry out here for a minute, please? Thank you. So I guess I guess that was what we were doing. We were doing. 
Hollywood had to make the fanfare so you can come out here and, and talk about uh, whatever he wants to talk about. I don't know. What do we got coming on now? Well, coming down to it, – it's that's – Okay, from Bakersfield, California, at a height of six feet, nine inches, weighing in at a solid full muscle, 325 pounds, the Annihilator, J.W. Beeswing. And there oh is, folks, the Annihilator. They're coming the into the ring. Turncoat, turncoat. Pay wow. off the turncoat. You, you sold know what? out. You sold out, dude. You sold out. And you sold, you sold to the devil. And you're going to pay for it. Look at him, JC. Look at yeah, him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Hey, fat boy, shut your mouth and listen to me. You want to know why I, I did what I did? I did what I did. Because I get a family support. It's not personal. It's business. And if you fat boys out there, guys who aren't physically fit enough to do what... What's he talking about? Just go home, eat your ravioli, and call it a day. I don't know. He's a sellout. I don't listen to sellouts. So basically, what bring he said real was, wrestler. "Bring out the high flying rock." Well, hold on. Let me let's let's address what he said. He said the reason he did this was because he has somebody to support. So basically, what he's saying is he can't find honest work. He has to cheat and and sell out to get the money he needs to support his family. That's not a real man. That's a and crook. Just, and just sell. She seen That's, the. Uh, financial venture that could be gained by joining forces so we brought her on board and no. I'm just saying the entourage is running wild then he just got he's comparing himself to a female wrestler now well I think I think it's true I think it's true JC he's lost his balls yeah he grew boobs instead of balls that's basically what he did hey. all right what we got coming out now oh Go ahead, Wade. Go ahead, Wade. Let's see this. I fly an action guy. From South Texas. Coming in at a height of 5 feet, 11 inches, rock solid, 215 pounds of muscle. The high flying low life. Rock Constantine. Let's hear it for Rock Constantine, everybody. Rock Constantine, remember yeah. folks, this is this is a match for the road to the belt. If Rock can come up with this one and win, he's got a shot at the title. Right. Yes. Hang on, some stuff I gotta get off my chest real quick. You know, JW, I know you're a wrestling fan, so you know the saying. Well, how's it go? To be the man? I, I, I think you know the ending of that. Well... How's it feel to be Hollywood? Really? How's it feel to be Hollywood? Because I'm pretty sure you've been beaten in the back, haven't you? Come on, don't lie. I mean, look, let's look at it. You've got, well, Giselle, she looks rather frustrated sexually. Sorry about that. I mean, seriously, the woman looks like she's about to pass a watermelon out of her ass. And, well, Stacy, you picked the wrong team. So... Anyway, hey. that's enough of that. Stuff. Hey, are you, are you done? Are you done? Because uh, you said to be the man, you got to beat the man. Uh, I don't see no man, so let's get to business, boy. <laughs> All right, let's drop and get rid of this. Well, folks... Looks like we're going to get ready yeah, to get out of this match. Yep. Yeah, we're going to see Rock fight J Dub's new. You know, he's Hollywood's new bitch. So he likes girls. So I guess he's his new bitch now. <laughs> Let's see. Put it to him, Rock. Put it to him.
Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't. Is there is there a sponsor for this match? Is this is this one of Hollywood's uh, five dollar bin Walmart sponsorships? Coming live to you from the five dollar bin at Walmart, where you can buy all There's your bell, ladies and popular gentlemen. Hollywood shows. It probably is Rock. He is Rock. He's gonna be the man. He should be the man that's in Hollywood, not these ham and eggers. All right, folks, you're getting ready to kick this one off. The bell has rung. The referee has checked them. They are looking good, and now they square up. You know, coming into this, Rock has given away damn near a foot. He's given away a good eight inches on this one. Um, that That's eight inches of height and probably about four or five inches of reach to the bigger man there. Um, giving away at least 100 pounds. This may be a little tough for Rock. Well, remember, it's not the size of the dog. It's the bite of the dog. And I think yeah, the Rock it has is, the It's the fight in the dog. It's, it's not the... It's not the dog in the fight. It's the fight in the dog. Now, and I understand, but uh, that's still that's a lot to overcome. There, I'm not saying Rock can't, but uh, that is a lot to overcome. And you know, that day it was just shown that you know, Rock got pushed right to his back. It's uh, JW's just got the size on him for that. Yeah, I know he's got Rock Floyd. He's got Rock in that head butt, or in that head lock, and now he pulls him over. He did that, that, that snap mare on him, and that's a big man throwing Rock down on his back. Oh, and then he drops that elbow. Big, big elbow. Right on the throat that's of a, Rock. God you know, that's a... What did we say he was? 325 pounds? That's 325 pounds of man landing on Rock. Yes, it was. It was right there on the throat. He's, He's going, going for the pin, folks. Shoulder. He's going yes, for the going pin. For Come on now. We got a... No, no, we got that shoulder up. We're not going to get it. We're not going to get it. That wasn't the pin. Yeah, I couldn't see that pin coming anyway. I had this big walking tower in front of me. Giselle. The giraffe. Now we got... Now we got JW shouting at the referee. What... Uh, JW is whining about that not getting the three count. Really? Hell, he was lucky he got even one. Come on now. Come on. While he's distracted, Rock jumps up. And there it is, jumping up with that drop kick. Caught JW unaware. JW is sitting there looking at that referee and got caught on the side of the face with that huge drop kick. Yeah, it took a couple of times to chop that big tree down, but he got him down. Rock picks the big man up, and then he comes back with a swinging net breaker. Oh net my breaker. goodness, beautiful. that is beautiful you know, net breaker. They keep saying it. They keep saying it, JC. The bigger you are, the harder you fall. Nowhere is that more true than in championship wrestling. Did That's you right. see that, JC? Here comes the high flying. Here comes the high flyer. I think it might be over. He did that, the high Damn. flying splash, right on top. He landed that perfectly. Landed it perfectly, the high flying splash. Landed directly right in the there. center. Oh my goodness, he's hooking the leg, he's going for the pin, but he doesn't, I don't, I don't know that he's got this one. No, no, the elbow, no, the, uh, the no, shoulder's no, up. We got him. Where did, I, I think the big man's going to take a little more than that, JC, the, to get pinned. But, yeah, I do hey, too. We rolled there no need to one. waste time. No need to waste time. Go for it when you think you got him. it. I'd be on him, right on him, yeah. Yep. I'll, I'll be able to see the action as long as this tall giraffe doesn't walk in front of me again. I don't, I, we won't even talk about her. My disappointment there is, is outrageous. I don't. Hey, <laughs> shut up, slap nuts. Who asked you? JW is back on his feet. Here they go. Rock whips him into the ropes. He's coming back. 
Rock comes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Rock move. the high flying low life <laughs> went up to the top rope, leaped with a cross body, landing it solid on JW. That was beautiful. Landed right perfectly on his body, and he knows what he's doing. He's going to break down JW. He's going to break him down good. Now he picks up the big man, picks up the big man, kicks him square in the gut. Low, low, looks low, like low, JD, low. JW's not, uh, he's not out of it yet, folks. Looks like he's got a little bit left in him. He's he's fighting back. Listen to that cackle of that giraffe, Jarell, Zizel, or giraffe Jarell. Uh, how do you call her name, Jarell? Oh, it's Jarell, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was giraffe at first. That's why I called her giraffe. You know, Toys R Us. She kind of looked like Toys R Us giraffe. <laughs> I think his name's Jeffrey. I think that's what his name is. Oh, it was Jeffrey. I thought it was Giselle. Sorry. <sighs> right now, they're going back and forth, trying to keep that, uh, uh, you know, on top or on bottom, being in that ring for this long takes a lot out of a man. Oh, oh. And that is one of the advantages of height. Did you see that drop? Oh, yeah. the inverted atomic drop. That just shakes you right That's all the way That's a dirty move. Fine. And that doesn't surprise me. Turncoats usually are dirty. Oh, that was rough. That was rough. I don't... Oh, you can feel that all the way back up your spine. Now JW is picking him up. He's going to pull the man up. Look who's out. He's going to oh, kick him here. square in the gut. Oh, and then he's a super. He's, he's in the rope. He's in the rope. Rock is out of the wing. Okay, there we go. There we go. He pulls him back into the ring. Looks like we're going to have some outside interference hey, out here soon. I don't know why they would. That just cost JW the match. He's unfortunately winning yes. right now. He's got Rock right. down. He, he went for the pin. It didn't take, but... I don't know how much Rock's got left in them. They've both been going at it pretty hard. But what is Mr. Hollywood doing out here? He's just staring at us. He help you, Hollywood. Here he goes. He's picking Rock up again. The big man's picking him up. And there he was. An Irish whip right into that corner turnbuckle, and you know how bad those things hurt when they slam you in the back. And then the big man followed it up with a slam of his own. Oh my goodness, that was uh. Oh wow, that was horrible. And now he's putting that boot to his chest, trying to choke him out. And, you know, it, it, it may not really hurt Rock. I'm sure it doesn't feel good, but it does take away that breath. And that's yeah, it does. when the fighters yeah. start getting winded. That's when they start really having troubles. That muscle starts to ache. That blood's trying to pump through with no oxygen. Oh, JW is actually, he's working him right. He's, he's tiring the man out. Hey, Bollywood, how's your belt? You're not going to have it too soon later. <laughs> oh, oh. He, he just tried to yank that knee right out of its socket. He just, uh, JW, with that giant leg pull, falling down, trying to rip that knee, trying to rip Rock's knee out of his socket. Uh, the pain these men endure. And there it was, a belly-to-belly -belly suplex, folks. He has rock laid out on that mat. Where are we at, JC? What are we looking for? Has he got anything left, JC? He's going for the pin. He's going for the pin. He's no, just rock didn't it. let nope. it. No, no. Got that leg up. Kind of, it's kind of hard to see when you got the, all these distractions around the ring. You got a giraffe and a wannabe Hollywood star.
How much does Rock have left, JC? How much more can he take? And still, I'm not come sure back? at this point, buddy. I'm not sure. Well, he's fighting back now. He's not laying down for him. Look at him. The high flying low life is flying. Oh my God! The backflip off the top rope. That is classic rock. This is where his name comes from. The high flying low life. And that is his move. Have a nice effing day, J Dub. Have a nice effing day. Wonderful move. Wonderful move by Rock. Let's see if he can uh, get on top of him and get that cover right away and see if, if he's going to do that. Let's hope that he can capitalize on this. Nope, he got his. He tried. He tried. He got down there. He must have had him rolled up for it. I would keep on trying to break him down. That's what I would do. If That's I was what rock. he's got to do. He knows. JW, as much as you may not like him, was playing it smart. He was trying to wear Rock down. He knows the only way to get that pin, the only way to keep that shoulder down, is to wear Rock down. Rock has to do the same thing to JW. There we go. We got that big boot to the gut once again. Let's go ahead and try to take that breath from him. Oh, Rock with another one of his high flying moves. <laughs> Sent JW tumbling. Tea kettle over ass. Ass over tea kettle. There we go. Boom. Stepping on that gut. And I think Rock's doing exactly what you're saying, JC. I think he is actually in there. He's going to go to work on this man like the tactician he is. <laughs> We got a two count out of that one. We got a two count. Not quite enough. Not quite enough. Both men are uh, wily veterans. They know how to do that. It's a good one. We're we're doing. I mean, he's he's trying. They're both getting winded now. They're both having. This is this is a lot of stuff going on out there in that ring. Yeah, it sure is. All right, come on. I think I think we're going to see the one that's going to the one that's going to come out on top here is one that just has the desire to go all the way. I think that's what we're going to have happen. Is you're going to have to be the one with the most desire to win this match. Rock has a lot on the line here. Like we said, he's looking at that belt if he gets past JW. The big man grabbing Rock's head and slamming it into his knee with a, with a just proper knee lift. Oh, oh. JW spinning around with that super kick straight into the chin of Rock. Now he's picking the younger, the, the smaller man up. Oh, he's got him up across his back. He's got him across his back. He lays it back with the Samoan drop, slamming Rock into the mat with a stomp to the midsection, a stomp to the inner thigh. JW is pinning him. He's going for the pin. What does Rock have left? No, no, we're not going to get it. We're going to get a two. Rock is not going down that easy. Yeah. JC, how long has Rock been doing this? I'd like to think that uh, it looks like JW has been, been at this a while longer than Rock has. Yeah. And when you got the two facing off again. <sighs> Rock stepped up. He's not he's not backing down from the big man at all. No. The punishment he's taking, he's still stepping up and just throwing hands at the big man. And now the big boot once again. He's coming off yeah. that rope. He is the high flying low life, people. Do not forget. Oh, oh, oh wicked oh, move. Oh, the crossroad. Oh, my God. He laid him out just like that. 
just that like is that a combination dollar. rope whip launch off the rope with a snap mare at the end of it, folks. The crossroad. And yep. that has the big man laid out flat on his back. Yeah. Yep. Rock moves him into position. Rock is up on the second rope. He's what are we going to see out. here? Look and there is top rope flying through the air. The giant corkscrew body splash landed it right on JW. I think we've got him, folks. I think we've got him. Beautiful. Let's see. Will Beautiful he go for move. the pin? Beautiful move. There's that Giselle and Hollywood. Oh, no, he's not apron. quite done punishing the I'm big man yet. I'm surprised not that done he hasn't done nothing yet. I mean, they're on the We're apron. We're going for, for the pin. One, two, no, two. We got a two count. JW's got just enough to get that shoulder up again. I'm surprised Shoelaces is letting the Giselle and Hollywood out here on the apron like this. Just watching this match. Letting, you know, just anything happen here. I mean, this shouldn't be happening. They don't belong out there. They belong in the back, Wade. There he goes. Rock's picking him up. Well, JC, they haven't done anything wrong yet. I'm sure Rock they sends do. him into the turnbuckle. Throws him into those turnbuckles. That big man, all that weight, all that force, slamming into that corner there. Rock follows him in with a giant corner chop. Look at that. Look at that. Just chopping the big man down. He's chopping. I'm looking at the red marks along his throat and on his chest he's leaving. He's just slapping him silly and those chops are just all over up and down leaving red marks on his chest and neck area. JC, what do you do with a tree when it's in your way? Chop it down, baby. There you go. Rock is chopping the big man down. JW is in his way. Rock is up on top of the rope. That is seven, eight, nine. It looked like he got a good ten punches in there on him. Good really ten punches him. right there. Rocking him left and right with those punches. I'm surprised he's still standing. And I know, Rock, he has something else in mind for him. He didn't call the high-flying low life for nothing. We always look for something spectacular out of Rock every week when he comes out here. He is such a fan favorite. He is so fun to watch. She is. Oh, what's he going to do now? Oh, 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 oh. oh the dragon screw leg whip. Oh, my God. If that didn't dislocate his hip, that man ain't going to walk tomorrow. Uh, he's, he's working and on now he's still working on it. That was a stop directly on that hip he just stretched out. And that's what you need to do to J-Dub. A big man like that, you got to take body parts away from him. Break him down. Get him. Push him. Here comes Rock. He's going back up to the top rope, but Hollywood's awful close. I don't know if he's going to get a hold of his leg or not. Oh, no. He flew and landed Before right on top of him. 50 splash. The 450 splash. Beautiful. Oh, my God. Did you see the precision in that? Did you see the flip in that? That was so beautiful. He moved. I'm telling you, wait, you just can't get that from any other superstar in the back back there. You know, that it's takes amazing. week after week. He's he's in here. Rock is in here working on his moves. Rock is in here training week after week. He practices this stuff until he's got the timing perfect. Folks, this is a true wrestler here. This is a true athlete. This man is uh, coming back from what he was, what where he was. Yeah, I thought JW had this match won, JC. I really did. Well, and and now we see Rock coming back, and and look at what he's doing. He is, in fact, chopping the big man. Look at that! A heel, a heel to the groin, a heel to the groin. That doesn't surprise me. A low life move for a low life person, the J Dub. A cheater. A cheater, a low life in the turncoat. What else did you expect but a dirty, freaking rotten move from him, Wade? You know, I, I he was a good guy at one point. You you can't think that, that all of a sudden out. He is definitely that. He is definitely a sellout. And now 
a heel to the balls. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen. To the balls. I want to hear a chant. Sell out. Sell out. Sell out. What is that? What is that? Where did Kyle come from? Trace, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle's in there. What's oh. he doing? Oh, dropped him. Dropped him like a oh. bad habit. <laughs> what was that? Where did he wow. come from? Where did he come from? It was out of nowhere. He put that drop right on J-Dub's head. Beautiful, perfectly timed drop right on his head by that wily veteran, Matt Strong. Kyle Strange came out. Folks, Kyle Strange came out into the ring, delivered a low well, kick, and then snapped that head into the mat. Well, we know who has rocks back this week, and it's not Seguri with the bat. It's Matt Strange. Well, you know they are good friends. They're they're really good friends, Jason. Yeah, very best friends. He's good friends you know, with too as well. I imagine that uh, Kyle wasn't going to sit back there and watch this with Hollywood and Giselle on his mm. apron. Punishing him down low by Rock. He just smashed him right in the head. Now he's picking the big man up. And what's he got planned for him this time, JC? What have we got here? Oh, the Batbreaker. Backbreaker. The Batbreaker. Splitting the big man in two. You know, that'll lead you right into when they have to leave you right split down the middle. And you know what? That man's big enough that he was able to get all the leverage across his Boss back. Boss going for a cover. He's got that pin. Do we got it? No, no, we got uh, a two count. We got a two yeah, count. Two count. He got a shoulder. It was up close, there. though. Two it was count. close. Where in the world did he find that strength to kick out of that? Oh, oh, you know, right there, right in the face. He reversed that Irish whip on him. You're a winner! The Long Island Rock Constantine! JW slung him into the ropes, and then when he went for the finishing move, Rock was right under it with his high flying low life self. Went up for the crucifixion and rolled him over, and he yeah. pinned him. Fantastic, JW. Fantastic! What action do we have here, ladies and gentlemen? That was excellent, JC. That was excellent. I can't tell you how happy I am right now. Me too. To see I'm that glad the results on that match tonight. And look, did you excellent. see who had his back? Kyle Strange came down here. He was willing to take everybody out to help his buddy. Mm -hmm. He sure was. Everybody sing the song. You know we love it. The no, high no, no, fly no. low life. <laughs> yeah, and for J Dub, we can start singing. Na 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 na. <laughs> hey, bye, bye bye. There we go. <laughs> Where'd that giraffe go? Oh wait, she laughed because her man laughed and lost. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Wow. That was an exciting finish to that match, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Man, oh, my was God, JC. Excellent wow. match. That was terrific. Each and every week we have these people come out here and they give their all. We have the most, most best talent in the back, ladies and gentlemen. Each and every week we give you a show and we make sure that you and everyone that comes has a good time. What's this? Who's this? I don't... Do you I don't know, know her? I, I've never seen her, JC. Was she... See? I don't have nothing JC? about her. I don't know anything. I'm looking through my cards here. So, I don't know I don't anything about this. Who is this? It's uh, Stacy. All I have is Stacy. Who is Stacy? I don't know. A new addition? Oh. I don't... Well, I tell you what, our new, I guess our we're about to find out, huh? Uh, champions. I guess we Maybe. are about to find out. Here we Stacey. go. Stacy, ladies and gentlemen, Stacy Grace. I don't have stats. Do you have stats? I don't know. No, me either. Is. Okay, well, sure. I guess we'll find out who the hell she is when she starts talking to us. Yeah. Yeah, nobody let us know what's going on. Well, she's really pretty, though. I tell you that. Is she pretty? I'm I'm trying to call the matches this time. I'm trying to call the matches. I'm not looking at the girls this week. Well, she is beautiful. Let's to know. See if she can wrestle. Actually. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Stacy Grace. Now, now my name is Stacy Grace. One name you'll never forget. Well, I guess that's all she had to say. Ladies and gentlemen, Stacy Grace. Oh, wait a minute. Shut up. I'm finished. Is she finished? Am I finished? What? It's called Am I Finished? Learn to read. Oh, well, maybe she is. Maybe she ain't. Go ahead, Wade. I don't know what she's got to say. Okay. If she's going to say anything, I don't know. All, All the, the girls, girls in the back. And Watch your back. Well, I guess that's a warning All to of them? our ladies. I don't think they'll take too kindly to that. You have a new woman on the roster. She's ready to take each and every one of you down just to get what I want. Hmm. That's interesting. So, girls, watch your backs. Mm. 
Well, Wade, what you think of that? I, I think that didn't tell me a damn thing about who she is, except some woman coming out here saying she's going to whoop everybody's ass. The same thing every woman's come out here and said, and every man's come out here and said when they first came. Except for Bannock, the renegade, i got to give it to him. He didn't say anything. He just came out of here and beat Cooper. Slammed him to a table. So, you know, that's it, it, the same thing we hear all the time, you know. Well, it, until she comes out and, and actually wins a match, I don't believe a word she said, a damn word she said, to be you honest. You know what, I don't. It, you know, talk the talk all you want. What I want to see you do is walk the walk, lady. Yep. You want to tell me you're going to beat all the women back there? Then beat all the women back there. Do it. Don't talk about it. That's all right. That's damn right. Well, here comes our referee, Damien. Damien, okay. Hey, we got Damien out here this week again. Let's, everybody give a round of applause for our referee, Damien. Damien Bloodthorn. Damien, I actually got a beer for you down here in the cooler. So, after you're done, buddy, I got you hooked up. All right. We're going to go ahead and get into our sponsors this week. Let me tell you, every week we like to acknowledge those people that have done what they can to make this possible, who have worked very hard and, and helped us get this done. And I'm looking for my sponsor card. So give me just a second, folks. Where is my sponsor card? You have your sponsor card? I don't have mine. I Here we go. I got sponsor. Well, Did you get find it? Did you get it? I don't have it. Where's my sponsor okay. card go? Well, our uh, sponsors are um, going to be coming up soon in a moment. Hey, wait. Let's, let's talk about this other match real quick, and uh, we'll get our sponsors together here. All right. What do we got to say? There we go. Uh... Well, let's let's first start off by saying that you can, uh, you fans can reach us on Facebook and like us on social media outlets. Uh, look for our um, shows live every uh, every week. We uh, do tape them, and they're available on YouTube on our channel. So if you want to subscribe to our channel, we'll be giving you the links for that soon as well. And uh, we look forward to seeing each and every one of you. Um, uh, there and uh, putting putting the likes next to our names each week and uh, giving us uh, you know our, our props here in ACW and we really want that uh, so we really love you guys and we want you each week to come out and have a fun time um, uh, ACW's official website social media site will be given out like I said Coalition Sports by Trent Beckin. Coalition Sports is the Second Life's newest sports organization. If you haven't played football yet, you're missing out. Coming soon, we'll have a soccer system, which we plan bring to plan. We plan to bring to you each and every week the excitement of our CoalitionSports.com. Come see what you should be watching sports like you never seen before in Second Life. Um, for your mesh appliers and all your custom wrestling attire and gear, um, we would like you to uh, contact Whatchamacallit. What's that called again? Well. Whatchamacallit. And you can contact Ben, ben Cogorg at uh, Bannockorg for more information and your ACW sponsorships and get all your ACW gear. And, uh, From so Bannock Og. Bannock yep. And also you can uh, contact Kristen and Jack Steve for your pr pr prices and local information. 
All right. Hallelujah. We got to do and, that one. <laughs> <laughs> just barely. And as always, we want to thank you, you fans, for coming out. We know it every week. We have to say it. We could not do this without you. We are here because you're here. So every week, we like to thank you, our biggest sponsor, the fans that come in here to see these matches, to watch these wrestlers, to acknowledge that these people are doing a fantastic job. And, you know, we love to have you here, folks. And, and the more you bring, the happier we are. And we thank you for being here each and every week. And now on to our next match. All right, folks, at a height of five foot seven inches tall, at a weight of 130 solid, beautiful, lovely, sexy pounds, from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, she's got a never give up, never surrender attitude, and is your women's ACW champion, Kristen! There she is, ladies and gentlemen. High five, Kristen. High five. Hey, did you bring me some Tim Hortons this week? You know, they got the best coffee in Canada. Did you ever try that Tim Hortons coffee? Never, never it's tried delicious. that. It's delicious coffee. The best coffee north of the border. Fantastic. How are you doing, Kristen? How are you doing? Good to see you, Kristen. I'm still waiting for my autograph, Kristen. Yes, we will absolutely watch your belt for you. We won't let her anywhere near it. We'll keep it safe here, over here and underneath the table. I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that's one tough Canadian woman. I tell you what, that's pure class, pure poise. That is a regal woman right there. Folks, I, 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 you don't get any better. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what a true woman wrestler is. You know, if you're if you're looking for somebody for your daughters to look up to, you got to point them no further than that lady standing in the ring right there. Integrity, honor, everything. Well, all right, right. joining us there. now, coming in at a height of five foot, uh, a height of six foot three inches tall. The weight, none of your business. None of your damn business, let me correct that. From Long Beach, Florida, United States. The Amazon. Joseph Stratton. And there she is, folks. They don't get much bigger than that. Cut the music. Cut it right now. We can't hear you over your music, Giselle. We can't hear you over your music. Yeah, really. That music sucks anyway. All right. I like that song. Since <laughs> Jessica isn't here tonight, I will fill in for her for this little title match. So don't cry when I manage to win it oh so easily. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is not backing down. She's saying, bring no. it. She's offering her a high five, even. <laughs> yeah. She's ready for her. This is going to be a hell of a match. All right, look. Damien's taking the time to check the wrestlers out, make sure that they don't have anything hidden on them. Not that there's many places for them to hide stuff, but he checked them. 
They seem to be all good to go. He's there called for the match to start. Boom, right there. It's going. And there it was. There was a clothesline yeah, by, Giselle, by Giselle, but Kristen yeah, rolled right yeah, under. She wasn't yeah, going to get caught through. that easy. Hey, you got to watch those big hosts of, I mean, big heels of hers. I'm sorry. <laughs> the two women looking at each other, sizing each other up. And there it was again. Look at the athleticism wow, for the our, that. our that champion. Right through. Rolls right under it. No. Right no. under it. Kristen's not going to be fooled by her again. No, she's not going to be fooled by her. She's got her in there. She's going to get it. Let's see. Okay, what do we got happening now? They're standing up to each other. She's screaming at her something. She's screaming at Kristen. What's she saying? She's calling her a, sh a little piece of crap, a shrimp. You She's know, calling her it, something. Sticks and stones, sticks and stones. Oh, if the she fact fights, is, it's a belt. If she fights as good as she talks with her mouth, maybe she might be able to win the title. But until that happens, I don't see it happening. <laughs> she swung at her again, Kristen, with that roll. Just right under it. You know, Giselle may have she's the big wise. call. She may be powerful. She's tall. But if she can't she's land smart. a punch, it doesn't do any yeah. good. Oh, she caught her that time. She caught her that Whoa. time with the kick. And now Giselle is laughing the about it. Laugh. Laughing about it. Evil, evil laugh by Giselle herself. All right, JC. I don't know. I... Yeah, that was a big boot. You know, she's a big woman. She's got big feet. That was a big yeah. boot into the that face was, of our champion. Right. That was. It just caught her right under the chin. And, and, uh, and this that seems had to really be, hurt. This seems to be a problem with, with the the yeah, yeah, more cocky people. Instead of leaping on her and, and taking advantage of the fact that she's down, Giselle's standing around gloating. All that's going to do is end up costing her in the end. Yeah, you don't win. You don't win belts and titles that way by sitting standing over somebody gloating about it. Oh, what was that? She slammed her head down into that big knee, raking her eyes with those laces on those boots. And then, talking about the boots, she put the big one into her belly. Uh, another dirty tactic. She must have learned that from Hollywood. Oh, there she was with the suplex. Now, that is a big suplex from a big woman. She bounced that, straight off the ropes. When she flipped her over, her, her heels caught the bottom. Yeah, it's, it's got to hurt. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm not, she's, that's a long way to go. And that is one of the problems when you get with, with these bigger women. Any, any tall wrestler. Spare. That is a long way to fall down, and then we had the shoulder spear as she came off the rope. Our champion, always knowing where she is, her ring awareness was such that as Giselle prepared to attack her, Kristen came off the rope with that shoulder spear, laid it right into the middle of Giselle, chopping the big woman down. And Kristen's laughing. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's what they oh. keep saying. Oh, Kristen got caught that time. She got caught with a belly to belly. And again, on that back. This is twice she has hurt that back. And the big woman's going for a pin already. I don't think you're going to take our champ out that quick. I don't think so. I don't think so, folks. Two count on that one. And now, and now the big woman's got something to say to the ref. To the That's ref. the reason why she's a champion. I don't care how many times she's going to argue with that referee, but she got that, that shoulder up. That was legit, everybody. I don't know why she's wasting time. I hope, hope Kristen capitalizes on this this moment and uh, does so. And she does! Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, no. Oh, she took out the ref at the same time. Oh, oh she my got God. Giselle from the bat. She knocked but then she down took the, out the ref. Oh my God! Can we get another referee out here? Holy cow! Holy moly! 
that referee, he's, he's out. He's like looking up at the lights right now. And uh, I'm not sure what Giselle's trying to do. She, I think she's trying to. Uh, Giselle's trying get to get out of the safe. way. Yeah, she's trying, trying to get, get out safety. Of the way. Kristen's trying to get the ref up and apologize. Right. And she, she, she didn't mean to get him caught yeah. with it. You know, she, that, he got, well, he got caught in between, Wade. So, you know, and that happens here tough. sometimes. Sometimes if you're not in the right place, it, it happens. Damien looks That's, like he's trying to clear the cobwebs out of his head. Oh! Oh, what was that? A drop kick God. from behind. A sneaky drop kick from behind. Cheap and shot. Would well, you expect anything else from the giraffe? I mean, Giselle. I mean, well, you know, that you was know, a cheap, I, I, sneaky shot to the back. We can't, we can't say too much about that now. Kristen attacked her from behind when she was arguing with the ref. So, you know, give and get, give and get. This is all part of wrestling. We know what's coming. We know better. And, and Kristen should have well, been aware Giselle of what was, was happening any kind behind of championship wrestler she would probably be on her right now while her opponent's weak but look she's over there just gloating you know that's what the problem is you can't win belts if you can't even beat the person look at her she's sitting there and she's like taking a breather i don't know what her problem is now she's running over to kristen i guess she's gonna taunt her i think that's what she's doing she's just taunting her like Look at me, look at me, look at me. She keeps on pointing at herself. I don't know what she's going to okay, do. Okay, she's got the big woman. Oh, she's slapping oh. her. Oh, she's slapping she's her. Beating oh, on that shoulder. What beating is on the that? top of her head or shoulder. She was like that. Did you hear what she said? She, said, she called her a bitch. She called her a frosty Canadian bitch. What the hell? That's what she called her. Why is she calling her that? Well, is, this, yeah. is this necessary? Really, is it necessary? You know, yeah. when you're trashy, you use the trashy language. And there it was. She's floor over the top rope. She does a clothesline on the champion, sitting it over the top rope and out of the ring. Guys, 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 pay attention to me. Look at me. <laughs> out of the ring, on the floor. Our champion is on the floor. Holding her back. That is a long way to fall. And Giselle is standing over there gloating. She is gloating now. I don't the referee's counting her out. Giselle saying that she can't withstand her talent. Our, our champion is up. She is up. She is grabbing the side. She's up, pulling herself up with the ropes. She's got to get back inside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Giselle is standing out there in the middle of the ring, laughing. Mm. You know, our, our champ is smart. Our champ is, is not attacking when she's out of breath. Our champ is taking her time. She's going ahead. She's catching her breath. She's letting her muscles breathe. And she's waiting. Yeah. And now she goes into it. The big Amazon watches her. And looks like our champ caught her. Our champ caught her with a toe Good. hold. Good. Nice toe hold, by the way. I like to see some old school wrestling, Wade. I really do. How about oh, I yourself? do too. And, you know, there's a reason they did it. It's because it worked. Sometimes the best moves are the simplest oh, moves. She got her by her hair this time. Look, that look. is a tall woman. She is pissed too. I think she just pissed off the Canadian. I and oh, oh, dropped her, dropped her. <laughs> this is working right on her head. Uh, Wow, she's really twerking, he, twerking her head. I think she's trying to take her head off at this point, Wade. I think she's trying to twist her <laughs> off by the neck like a like a Coke bottle at this point. She is definitely working on that neck right now. And folks, when you get your <laughs> neck pinched like that, the blood flow to your brain doesn't keep going like it should. It make you a little bit dizzy. Make you see a little bit of spots there. And now she does an axe handle drop right on top of her head. And she has laid the big woman out in the center of the ring. Our champion rolls her up. Oh! 
She's got the sharpshooter locked on her. She has that. Oh, oh, she is stretching that spine out. She is putting that torque on that, sitting on that back. Oh, but, but the big woman has enough ring awareness. She has clawed herself over to the side. She's got a hold of the ropes. She's got the ropes. Does the referee see it? Does the referee see it? I mean, she. I thought she had her. She didn't have a ring awareness to get that bottom rope. I think we would have had a tap out right there, and uh, we still would have had the right. stamp. You know. But still, the damage is done. That is a big woman. That is a lot of back, and that was a lot of pressure yeah. put on yep. that spine. Well, you know that's what happens. You twist and turn that lower back. That's gonna happen. You know, and, and uh, there's a reason Kristen's a champion. She has the technique. She has the knowledge. She knows how to wrestle. And, folks, well, when you start going to work on yeah. somebody, they start paying for it. Yeah, they do. Uh, somebody's out on there, up on top of the ring, watching this match. Who is that? Yeah, they are. Is that, is that, that's Avena. Avena. What's Avena doing? Oh, Avena's here. A wonderful Avena. I tell you, that's a girl. I tell you, if I wasn't wrestling, if I wasn't rooting for Kristen right now, I'd be rooting for her. I sure did enjoy her match last week. She gave it her all. That's how oh, wrestling oh, should be. Oh, oh, oh and Kristen wow. with the high flying drop kick too. Yeah, that the was big nice. big woman's face. That was up six feet, three yeah, inches. That was folks. nice. Our champ just leaped up and kicked the woman mm. in the face. Yes. Yeah, that was a beautiful, disasterful. That was just a beautiful, disasterful thing that happened right there. That was amazing. It's just devastating. Oh, nope, she uh, left and she missed the next one. And now back down on that hurt back, the big woman is pulling her up by her hair. Right, yeah, I think so. And well, I think she's like, going to have it. It looks like the champ's going to get a little hand up by, uh, by the big right. woman. Right, yeah, Wade, I think so too. And now that big woman is leveling those chops on our champion, driving her across the ring with those huge chops across her chest. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was. And she finishes it off with a she giant did. boot to the face. And we've already she talked did. about how big her feet are. That right, is not yeah. a small boot. This is no, not a dainty size, woman. That's a size, what, with 13 boot at least? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's just amazing. Yeah, she is not a dainty she's woman, and now our champ no. resting on that turnbuckle right now. She is in that right. corner. Yeah, Giselle running it. to the other one. Mm. What's she going to do? It looks like uh, she's got a plan. Yeah, she does, and uh, she knows what's going to happen. Here she comes. Oh, oh, oh full yeah. force, yeah. driving her shoulder into yeah. the midsection of our champion. Here. Wow, shoulder right into the chest area. My God, if that did not the net nair out of her, I don't know what will. Ooh, yeah. Goodness gracious, she is down. Our champion is down, and now she has that big boot in her neck, pushing, driving into the champion's neck, cutting off all that air, just mm -hmm. driving that boot straight into the woman. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's just amazing how she does that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's just toying with her now, but you know what? Toying with her is not going to win the belt. Pinning them is going to win the belt. You know? You know, but but it is. She's a champion. She's got to break her down. She knows she can't get an easy win. Here we are on the top rope. We're going for the suplex on the top rope. No, the champion turns it around. A boot to the midsection. A knee lift, and then she pushed her off the top rope. Pushed her off. Landed her on her back, on her butt. Our champion with enough awareness, as beat as she has been, enough awareness to keep her from getting that big suplex. Well, you know that's going to happen. Each and every time she makes that move, if there's just even a small delay in there, there's going to have that kind of effect on that move. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, that was a long way for that big woman to fall. And now our champ is going right back at her, going right.
right back at her, JC. She's not giving up anything. She is not backing down. She does not even want to know about quitting. And there it is. The giant kick. The big kick to the big woman. Driving her into the corner. And then another one in the corner. Oh, the big woman is... Oh, she is chopping her down right now. The champ up on the second rope with a kick to the face. And now the champ's telling her, you're not going to stop me this time. What is that? She's up on the ropes. She is pounding, driving her fist into the corner, into the face of the big woman. Ten times, ten times she smacked that big woman in the face. That will take it out of you, folks. That will take the air out of your lungs. That will, oh, and let me remind you folks, this is not like getting hit by your grandmother. These women are professional athletes. They build, they work, they train, they do this on a daily basis. They know how to do this. And there she goes with a big boot to the midsection again. She is beating the poor woman down. She is chopping her down. And it looks like Giselle is down on the mat. Our champion is right on top of her folks. Right on top of her. And this is why she holds the belt. Because she knows how to work her opponent. She knows how to chop down her opponent. To wear her opponent down. To get her to the point she can get that pin. And now she's laying across her. She's rolled her up. Is she going to get it? Two. Three. Got three she would get it. We got it. We got the three. Got three she got the three. three they pulled him. She got the P. She pinned her, folks. And this is what we're talking about. This is why Kristen is the champion. She Internal is. She works him. She beats him. Internal She fortitude. wears him down. Wait, I'm that's sorry. Go ahead, JC. That's internal fortitude. That's all I wanted to say. Internal fortitude. That's what it is, my blam. Everybody, let's hear it for your winner, Kristen. That's it, folks. Still the champion. Still the number one. Our beautiful, our wonderful, Kristen! I tell you, Wade, this wonderful lady. She is great. She's something I would have. If I had a daughter, I would love to have her look up to her. You know? She's awesome. Awesome, baby. And there it was. You saw it in effect. Our beautiful champion. Never give up. Never surrender. And she's got her belt. And well, what is Avina doing? What is Avina doing? We hear the... What, what's oh, happening no. here? What is Avina doing in there? Giselle screaming at her. What do you want? Our, our champ is going off. She's off. She's won her match. She's done. Yes, she's she's got nothing left to back. say. No. What is going on in here now? Giselle has just been beaten down by the champion, and now we've got Avina in the ring. What is happening? Mm, I don't know. She says, are you all right, Giselle? She's asking her if he's all right. Oh, I don't know. She has something in her hand. What is that? I don't know. What's she but doing? It doesn't look like she has good intentions. She's bringing something to She did ask her if she was okay, though, right? She asked her if yeah. she was okay. So, what is really going on here? I don't know. I, Looks I, like I, a hammer of some sort? A hammer? Some kind of a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. And she, she keeps asking her, are you all right? Is or is she angry about last week's match? Is this revenge? I don't know. She that? keeps asking her, are you okay? Yeah. Like like she's taking care of her. Like maybe she was coming out to, to scare Kristen away. She's but corner. Just yeah. wasn't quick enough, you know? But, you know, she's know. with Hollywood's camp, and that can't be good. Uh, unless maybe, maybe Avina's being now maybe a part of this. Uh, I don't know. I maybe just, she changed her mind. Maybe. Maybe.
Maybe Giselle is, is still, they're still friends. Uh -oh. I don't know. Uh-oh, what was that? What was right that? To the back of the knee. Oh. oh, with that hammer to the back of the knee. Back to the knee, ladies and gentlemen. My God, I think she just shattered her knee. Oh, my God. Oh, again. Another foot drop, leg drop. Mm. Another wicked shot. She is out here trying to show Giselle that she means action, that she means what she's trying to do is try to put her out of wrestling. I think she's trying to really physically hurt her and totally put her out, Wade. Oh, another leg drop. Uh, what is she doing? She's trying she to is hurt punishing her. the she's big lady. To, she's not only trying to punish her, she's trying to break her leg at this point and put her out of action. Avina told her. Avina told them all. She told she them all last to, week she wasn't going to tolerate this. Oh, my oh, God. She no, slammed no, that no, big no. hammer down on her. Oh, my Lord. Right oh, on her knee. That giant hammer on her knee. She is not stopping. Oh, she is God. not. No. 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 Oh. Mm. You know, just. Oh, whoa, she's coming at us. Uh, What's she doing coming at us? Whoa, 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 whoa. We have nothing to do with hey. anything, Avina. We're, we're, we're cool with you. We're cool with you. Uh, hi, hi, sweetheart. I don't know How about cool with her. I just don't want to get hit by that hammer. Yeah, I don't want to get hit by that hammer neither. Uh, you call someone to get that piece of crap out of the ring. Mm. Okay, we need a medic. Medic out to the ring, please. We Did you like that, Giselle? Ah, oh, poor little baby, poor Giselle. Shut up. Well, she said how she felt, and, well. You know what? I've had it with this shit around me. Jessica is never here, and when she is, she's barking orders like she belongs in ACW. You know what? I'm done. Well, I guess we're going to have company for the next match or so. Uh... uh Hello. Hi, Avina. Uh, did I tell you how pretty you look today? Uh, you know what? I've had it with... Yeah, okay. She mm -hmm. said she's done. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's what's happening here. I'm, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, uh, I can hold that hammer if you like. I don't want anybody holding that hammer. I prefer I'll that hammer. I'll hold it right over here away. on the side. Well, I can hold it right <laughs> over here on the side so nobody else gets hurt tonight. <laughs> she said something else. Wait. What's she doing? What? Okay. Ah, no, I'm not quitting. Sorry to disappoint. Well, yeah, I am in a way, but not ACW. Where's that damn camera? There it is. Camera kitty using right in on me. I have a message for Jessica. Was. <laughs> ah, well, I think I think Avina's made her intentions known. I think she said it plainly now, and I think Jessica better run. Yeah, I do too, sir. I do too. It's going to be really interesting to see how this is going to end tonight. All right. Well, uh, what have we got next? It's, uh, I'm wow. Um, that brutality, that level of brutality, is just unbelievable. I don't know. I don't think Giselle will be seen for a long, long time for a while. What is this music? We all know what it is. The demon himself. Corrupt. From the darkest parts of hell. Corrupt everybody. Well, folks, evidently we're going to hear from Corrupt.
Good evening, ladies, gentlemen. I have come here to bestow my presence upon you. And I have a few things I need to get off my chest. A couple weeks back, you saw me handcuffed to my teammate. And I had to take on the champion in Chewy. Now, Voodoo has gotten lucky so far in the ring against me. And it is based just upon luck. Because each time he steps in the ring with me, he has help. He has somebody to back him up. And I've been waiting oh so long to get my hands around his neck. But somehow, management must have some type of favoritism towards voodoo. So here is what I propose in front of all of you here tonight. I propose voodoo to face me one on one then the world will finally see all the dust settles and everything is clear they will see me towering over his broken beaten body then everyone will know that I am the way. Well, we, we heard it from him. He's now called Voodoo Out. All right, and from there, from Purgatory, at six foot five, two fifty three. That was the Dark One, corrupt, coming into the ring now at a height of six feet one inches tall, weighing in at two hundred and thirty seven pounds of muscle from Trenton, New Jersey, the King of Chaos, Matt Nitro. Hey, Wade. Yes, sir. What was that smell? It smells like garbage. New Jersey garbage. <laughs> That's right. You don't like him very much, do you, JC? <laughs> yeah, I don't like Jersey trash. I'm from Philly. I'm from Philly, so we don't like garbage from New it's Jersey. It's natural, huh? That's where we dump all of our garbage in Philadelphia, in New Jersey. <laughs> well... Coming out next from Hollywood, California, coming in at two hundred and forty five solid pounds. Weighing at a height of six feet, four inches tall, your apex champion, Mr. Hollywood! Hollywood! He's putting together quite a stable. Yeah, he is. Well, he really is. I mean, he's, his money's buying him a stable. 
Well, his movies suck. I'm surprised he could buy anything at all. Especially those cheap clothing that he wears. And that hair. Look at that hair. Hey, uh, 1980s called. They want their hair back, dude. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> and there you have it. <laughs> Mr. Hollywood from the 80s. <laughs> Mr. Bollywood. Get a new haircut, dude. Your hair sucks. And who's coming out now? Who is coming out now? We know the music, folks. We yes. know the video. The true champion. Go ahead, And wait. here he comes. Look at him. Coming in. 375 solid pounds. From Bulk and Bow, Oklahoma, at a height of seven feet. You know him. He is your ACW world champion. He is Voodoo the Bear Cooper Stone. Now that's a true champion. That is what a champion it should be. This man bends over backwards each week, every week for his fans. That is what we call a champion, Wade. That gentleman there is a champion. And what's, and what's nothing this? nothing else you can tell. What's this? What? I'm just being handed a card. I'm being handed a card. What is this shoelace? I can't believe this, JC. Tyrone, this is what the loose. monkeys have just handed me. What Hold on just say? a second. We'll let we'll let Voodoo's music finish. And here we go. This is what I just got. Evidently, Shoelace has brought in a special opponent for these guys. He didn't feel that they had enough of a challenge. He's saying it's the wild card spot. What the heck is going on? We thought this was going to be a four-man match. From the Endless Graveyard. At a height of six feet, eight inches tall. He's coming in at a weight of 275 pounds. This is unbelievable. Shoelace brought in somebody else. Shoelace is bringing in another person. Can you believe this? Coming in right now, the heavy metal monster, evil, where is he at? Where is he? I don't, he's coming out. Folks, I'm going to go over these stats one more time. I am going to go over these stats one more time. If At a height of 6 feet 8 inches, he is just shy of our champion at 7 feet. Coming in at 275 pounds, he's not giving away an ounce to anyone. From the Endless Graveyard, I don't even know where that is. The Endless Graveyard. The heavy metal monster. Evil Ernie. Evil Ernie. Evil Ernie? Wow. Evil Ernie. Who oh, is I'm this monster? You. Look at this. Look at the specimen of the man. Look how big and tall he is. 
he's just ripped. Oh my God! I think these guys are not going to be ready for this guy. He is and he was brought in. House. Shoelace brought him in. Yeah. Shoelace felt what these guys he needed somebody tougher. Oh my God! To he go is again. literally head banging on the stage. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. Evil. Is that a guitar across his oh, back? I think so. Yeah. Or is that an actual axe? I don't know. I don't know. After seeing that Looks hammer like that came guitar. in, it's a guitar. It's a guitar. Okay. Yeah, After seeing that hammer, I'm not taking anything <laughs> for granted. Yeah, I had to take that hammer away from her and uh, put it <laughs> safely over here on the side here. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think our other wrestlers here in the arena really know what to make of him. Everybody's like just staring at this guy. Who is this dude? We don't even have the background on him. Here he comes. Very little is known about Ernie. <laughs> Very little? <laughs> oh! What did he do? Oh! Did he just come in? Did he Tar just Solo. Hollywood? Get yes, Tar Solo did. right on Hollywood's head. Yeah, well, he, he was tuning up the band, and I think uh, Hollywood got the best of that shot right there. Uh, I think he's here to tune up all the wrestlers. Wow, Hollywood took that one right to the noggin. I can't say it, it, it didn't hurt anything. Wow. Hollywood yeah, ain't got much to shake down. up there. Probably helped his looks a little bit. Who well, knows? That'll delay production in this next movie. Uh-oh. <laughs> Matt got a little close. And Matt thought a little bit a second. He thought for a second, uh, I don't think I'm going to get any closer to him. Look, 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 Matt backed off. He was going to come behind him. He gave it second thought. But is that right? He he, yeah, well, around, did huh? you see that? He, was, he looked in his eyes and said, uh-uh, I am not having any of that guitar. That guitar. Look, the Baron Corruptor squaring off. Yeah. The Baron Corruptor going the Baron, at it. You know, no, these they just don't just care don't. right now. Oh, they yes. can't stand for any no, chance. They just, they have well, to they go just don't want it in any way. I mean, we we got this this great match coming. Hollywood's on. Hollywood's probably doing the smartest thing yeah, he's ever I done think, in his yeah, life. He, he, he got he the hell got, out of there. Yeah. Well, until he can clear the cobwebs out of his head, I don't think he'll be messing too much with anything. And now we got corrupt, corrupt, and the bear are it locked up. Right, they're locked, locked up, up, and there it goes. It was a show of strength. Bear. That was uh -oh. just a pure show yeah, of strength. Was... Look at the bear. Look at that. Look at it. Look at and it. Matt, it's look at going. Nitro. Nitro took oh. down the big the big heavy Man, metal thunder. Ernie what was too. his name? Ernie. Evil Ernie. He Evil took Ernie. Ernie. What he the heavy metal down? thunder. What What do we call yeah. him? But he did it with a cheap shot. Oh, and look at the low blows and cheap shots from that piece of trash, Mike and Matt Nitro. You know, the that's heavy what they metal do monster. in Jersey. That's it. You know? They, that's what they do. They like to beat up on pieces of trash. And then they think they walk around and tough guys, you know. I don't know. Corrupt in, the, corrupt in the bear are just in a shoving match yeah, right now trying to show which one's two just stronger. Don't like each other. Yeah, to see who's the strongest man. Matt, meanwhile, is taking it to Evil Ernie. The bear yeah. got the worst of that one coming off the rope with uh, Corrupt. Actually, you know, I'm pulling for Ernie. I, I'd like to see him get rid of this piece of trash. We're going to see. Jersey. Well, I know you would. I know you would. No. I mean... Us we know boys, how you feel. We dump our trash. You know, Nitro came out and attacked Rock for no reason. Oh, I don't know. Here he comes. Here we go. He's just gonna get him. Oh, oh, he pulled him up and he got him down. But he's there. Gonna, it was. You Did know, you see? Yeah. Nitro with right. a rake to the eyes and a kick right. to the groin area. Another, another cheap, cheap, cheap move by Nitro. It doesn't surprise me. Nitro. He whips always... Ernie into the ropes. Ernie's coming then, back uh, off. Boom. Oh, got a clothesline caught Matt Mind Nitro. Them. Meanwhile, the bear and corrupt are going at it, folks. Yeah, Evil we, we Ernie spears Nitro. In the ring tonight. It's just so hard to keep track of everything. We've got, got five men in the ring, and we only got two. Well, we got four men in the ring to right do now. we best we can right now. We got all this action. So much Hollywood's going to bide his time. Hollywood's not yeah. coming in there until he can Hollywood's only smart, face though. one guy. Hollywood's smart. You know what he's doing? He's catching his breath, and he's going to let himself rest while these other guys beat the shit out of each other mm -hmm. until it's time. Oh, here he comes mm -hmm. back in the ring now. Let's see what he's going to he, do. Is he really going to face off against the bear? Uh, I don't know. Have we got a pin over there? Look at that. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go, Hollywood. Welcome back into the ring. Yeah, Why don't really. you step up on the bear again? 
Yeah, really. I and like now both Corrupt and the Bear out. are beating on Hollywood right now. Yeah. Corrupt and the Bear taking it to Hollywood. Well, Meanwhile, have no Ernie has whipped from. Ernie has whipped Matt into the rope. Come wow. off! He caught him with the Ernie, flying suplex. Dude. Flying suplex, and you know the Bear and and uh, and Hollywood don't like each other. And Corrupt at one time used to be his partner, and he turned his back and walked down on him. On the belt, so well now the both, bear both and corrupt and him are both have a stomping on enemy. both taking you know it what to they him. say common friends make common enemies, you know. Yep. And both these guys don't like each other. They just simply don't like each other, and they have a common enemy, and that's Hollywood. And you that's know that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's so so really really good to see him get the piece of crap beaten out of him. Yeah, I hope they flatten him like a. A piece of paper and a piece of It's trash. not the enemy of my enemy, my friend. Yeah, friend I guess yes, for right yeah, now it is. Oh, for. my God. Yeah. Did you see that? A power yes. bomb. A power, power bomb by the giant corrupt. And now the bear oh. comes in and stomps. Yeah, stomps on him. Hollywood. Well, and here we go. Oh, Ernie. Yeah. Ernie oh, sends Ernie's Matt Michael so over the top about. rope. Ernie's got a moto. I mean, Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot get any. And now it's like they've forgotten about Hollywood. Gentlemen. Now it's like they yeah. forgot about Hollywood, but they're back at well, each other. Yeah, they don't think I Hollywood think they just turned their back on Hollywood, and I think they're just going to go at each other. I mean, me personally, I, I like to see this match too, as well as the other matches. But mm -hmm. this this match, these gentlemen just don't like each other. Corrupt has been after Voodoo, and he's been after that belt for the last month. If you, if you remember. Each week in sabotage, he's been yeah. after that belt for some times. Kicks and blows by both opponents, just sliding in and out. And of outside the ring, yeah. we have yes. Evil Ernie taking it to Matt Nitro, picking right. him up, slapping him back down to that hard concrete right. floor. What yeah, happened in the ring? The bear way. is down with a hit to the head. He smacked him right in the, right in the noggin. I think he's trying to knock some sense out of him or sense into him. At this point, I don't know. These two just don't like each other, and they just want to get it over with. And I can't blame them. And I know Corrupt. Corrupt is just evil, and he will do anything just to get his hands on that title. You know he will, Wade. But so far, in all the Corrupt's matches, I've never seen him actually fight dirty. Maybe I'm just not remembering it, but he's always fought head-to-head -head with whoever he's gone against. Well, when you now, need, even though when that you summon demons, you don't really stairs. need to cheat, I think. Well, I guess, I guess that's true. Oh, now Hollywood's going to go over here and help Ernie. Yeah. Is that, what is is that, that what's going to happen now? Well, it's because he sees Matt Nitro's down an easy target. Right, of course. We yeah. got the ref down there counting. Looked like there was a temp for a pin in the middle of the ring. Right. Oh, Oh, belly to back suplex! Beautiful. Belly to back beautiful suplex back, by the big bear, back. slamming yeah. that big corrupt into the mat. He he can do that. Bear is pure power, pure strength and power, and you just don't mess with the bear. You just don't mess with Voodoo. You just oh, don't Hollywood's coming in on Ernie now. Is he actually trying to help Matt Nitro, or did he just see an opening? No, I think he's out for himself. We we're talking about Hollywood here. Mr. That, that's himself. His truth. Oh, oh, and the bear with another belly to back suplex. Yes. Another belly to back suplex, slamming German that shoulder suplex. into that was the a mat. German suplex, actually. And they is that what it is? A German yeah, suplex? German. That's the name of yeah. it? Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I just that's know that he move. slammed him twice with that's that. That's an old school move. That's an old, old school move. I've seen that so many times watching wrestling each week. It's a beautiful move. Oh, he oh, Ernie oh. just threw him in Hollywood right into the seats and near the, the uh, security barricade here. And we got action right here. Oh, he's here got him up against fence. that. He's got him up against that fence, and he is ramming that shoulder into right. his butt. Yeah. Ramming he's that shoulder in. To, he's trying to put him out and hurt him good. You know what's funny, though? Wade, what's, what's his that, money Dickie? getting him now? What's his money getting him now? Money's he's not getting them too much, is it? It's not out not here this saving moment. his ass Look this at this. Week. Corrupt is hammering, oh, hammering yeah. Yeah. those feet yeah. into the thigh of the big yeah, man. And then a spinning tornado kick. Yeah. Kick he's of destruction. The kick he's of destruction right into his head. Mm -hmm. That was wonderful. The, the way that he kicked the bear, 
I mean, to bring him down. Uh oh, we got a roll up here. He's going for the pin. Roll. He's trying to He's pin the bear. Down. Corrupt. Oh, no, the bear's not going down no, that easy. No, Looks no, like no, Matt Nitro's no. actually pulling himself back up. He's, got he's it. giving he's a chance to catch his breath. It. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, oh, Ernie throws him over the top rail, slamming yeah. him down. Hollywood yeah. is down hard again. He almost landed in the... In Matt the, in Nitro the, came up behind Evil Ernie. And smashed him. He didn't see what... He didn't see that... It, Matt, Matt, he didn't see Matt behind him. That's what happened, and he smashed his head right into the barricade, the security barricade that we have, and it was just, it just in the ring. It, so it, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. looking in the ring, we've yeah, got I corrupt. Mean, oh, corrupt right is going on. to work on that leg right again. He's no. rolled up. He's rolled up the bear. Uh, He's rolled up the bear. Up. The bear's out. The bear kicks got out. It. That's called an old school roll up, ladies and gentlemen. That that's what that is. That's an old school roll up. That's an old pin move that uh, has been for years, and guys still try to use that one, but it, sometimes it don't work. The outside of action, we got Ernie and uh, <coughs> Matt, and then Hollywood's on the ground, and he's trying to crawl away from Looks him. like Ernie's from taking him. them both on. Ernie just sent Matt into yeah, the Matt, rails right. with an Irish whip, and then clotheslined him over the top oh, rail. Right over top. I think he has put Matt right. Nitro out of commission for now, mm -hmm. and Hollywood better watch out. Oh, yeah. no. Ernie's chasing uh, Matt Nitro over the rails. He's out in the stands, folks. Yeah, he's right there. It's it, in the action's right there, right in front of your face, fans. Uh, and now right we've there. got corrupt. Looks like he's getting ready to crawl up on the ropes. He's oh, got the bear out goodness. in the middle of the ring. Uh, corrupt is about to get ready to come off that top rope. The yeah. bear's on his knees. Oh, oh! The bear put his feet up. He caught him flying. The bear is on for the pin. Oh, no pin, no pin, no pin. We got a two count. But that was the ring, beautiful. We got uh, Ernie pounding uh, Matt Nitro right through the stands, right through the fans and through the chairs, and he's pounding them. And it's going towards the back of the, uh, actually, the front of the arena where you first come in, the entranceway when you first come into the he's arena. He's just chasing them outside. I don't yeah, know. he's just pushing them outside. Pretty soon this is going to be a street brawl at this point. He's just pushing them. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not in this ring. Yeah. Wow, that was gorgeous, folks. I want to tell you what happened on that. Corrupt had our champion in the middle of the ring, had him yeah. laid out, was taking his time getting Wait. up on the top rope. Our champion got Wait, to his you hands get this, and knees. I'll get this other one here over here. Corrupt threw off the top rope. Ernie and Matt Nitro back in the concession stand area in the entranceway coming through there. And, and these the two bear, were just pounding each other. And The uh, bear rolled to his back. Mm. And caught corrupt flying with both his big feet right to his face. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and we, now we the got only action one outside standing. the ring too, as well. And and uh, Matt looks like he just raked the eyes of Ernie, and Ernie's holding his face. I think he got a fingernail in his eye or something. But uh, Ernie's not giving up. He's trying to push Nitro up, and he's trying to rub his eyes. Oh, smashing glass! Smashing through the glass in the back here, in the front entrance of the, of the ACW arena. Glass. He put him right through the glass, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. We get a replay. Can we get a replay of that? He just crashed, crashed and splashed Ernie through the glass. But Ernie just... Just stood up like it didn't affect him. Oh, back body dropped. Ernie just put Nitro right through the glass where he fell into. And Ernie just stood up and just picked him up Nitro like it was a sack of potatoes and just pushed him right on top of that crushed glass. All that smashing glass is in the back of Matt Nitro right now. Both guys are bleeding profusely from the back of their backs. It looks like in the... Uh, Ernie's just setting him up for more hurt, I think, uh, and the glass is all over. He just smashed him right through the window. Meanwhile, in the ring, we had Voodoo standing there, the only one in the ring for the longest time. Both Hollywood and Corrupt were on the outside. Now it's Hollywood and Corrupt on either side of our champion. While Corrupt is coming up behind the bear, the bear is facing off against Hollywood. And meanwhile, Ernie's dragging... That piece of trash, Matt Nitro, back into the arena, and he's literally dragging him through 
the stands, ladies and gentlemen, and pushing them through it. And this and this is only in ACW where the live action is right in front of you, and it's right there for you, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, the bear! The bear gets him. caught! The bear gets caught! What the hell are you're gonna? Oh, he caught him! Oh my God! Corrupt got him with a pile driver. Our champion mm. is down. Our champion oh is my. down in the center of the ring from a pile driver from Corrupt. And meanwhile, what is happening here? Five people, folks. Five people. We're trying to keep track of five wrestlers going at each other. No mercy. Yeah. No, there's no gift. They're just going at it, trying to maim each other. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. All this action here in this ring tonight, and then the, now oh, the ring, it's just amazing. Damien's yelling at somebody to get out of the ring. Evidently, it, it looks like, oh, the bear's yelling, get him out of my head. What is Corrupt doing? What is he using? What the is demons, he doing to the bear? The demons are coming. The demons, the same demons that were messing with him the last time that caused his nosebleed, Wade. I don't know. I just don't know. And what is Hollywood happen. doing? What is Hollywood doing? What Who is that? At this point? that? I can't fault him on his strategy. He is letting the bigger guys tear each other apart, and now yeah. he's going to come in like the Scoop carrion the, that yeah. he is. Mm -hmm. The cowardly carrion right, eater Ernie. that he Ernie's is. Ernie's not going to have any of that. And Bear is out. The Bear is out. Hollywood got a three count on the Bear. Well, I thought Ernie was going to come in and save the day, but it doesn't look like it. Unfortunately. And, folks, that is really the only way Hollywood could have stood up to any of these men was to wait till they beat each other up and then come in like the coward he is He's a vulture. and take it. He's a vulture. He waits for he his is. prey to, to be dead and then comes in and scoops up the rest of them for the win. Another dirty ploy this week by Hollywood. Thanks to Bollywood. And look, winner. Corrupt facing the bear. Corrupt left. He doesn't even oh, care. Yeah. The only yeah, one he cared care. about was the bear. He's no. gone. Now we're down to, who is this? We got in here, Evil Ernie and Hollywood. What happened to Matt Nitro? Where is no. Matt Nitro? Matt was laying outside the ring the last time I seen him. He's still laying out there. Uh, Ernie beat the crap out of him, and he left him to waste and dragged him back into the arena after he put him through the glass outside the near the door to the front doors to the arena. That when I was following the action on the camera, um, I'm not sure where that piece of trash Nitro is. Who cares, though? I don't care about that piece of trash. Let's talk well, about I the guys I care because there. you know he's going to sneak up. Yeah. You know he's not going to do it right. You know he's not going to come face to face. He's going to sneak up on him. Just like the dirt ball he is. Yep. Oh, and there it goes. Evil Ernie's going to start taking it to Hollywood after what he did to Matt Nitro. Yep. Uh uh -oh. I'm sure Hollywood is in trouble. Choke oh, slab. look at the power. Choke look slab. at the absolute power. Picked him up and slammed him. Choke slam by the big Ernie. Evil Ernie down. Two. We got a two oh. count. We got a two got count. His count. shoulder's up. But Hollywood folks, did you see the thing. power? Mm, the strength of that man. He just flexed his, his, his arms and just choked him, slamming him. Um, and uh, Matt Nitro, is, he's trying to finally f figure out where he's at in the arena. He's coming to him a little bit. Uh, I don't know what he's up to. He's reaching under the ring, I think. I I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Boom! Another great move by Ernie. Wait, what do you think of that? Ernie's I think that got, that is a powerful man. That is evil. Just pure evil. That man is huge. Here, oh, boom! Hello! And there was... <laughs> That's it. Good night. Time Man. to go night night, Hollywood. Yeah, he's Time to go, go night put night. Him the, put him the rest. Can we Come get on, a ref, count on him out. Two, three. That was we it. We got a three count. He's eliminated. We got a three count. Hollywood's done. He's Hollywood eliminated. is done. So now we're down to Evil Ernie Nitro and, and, and Nitro. Evil Ernie. And here comes Nitro. 
Here comes Nitro with what's that in his hand? What's he got oh, in his he's hand? Got his, I told you he was reaching for something underneath there. Oh, and he caught him behind the back. Ernie didn't see him coming. Ernie did not he see him coming, not. folks. No, it's and he not hit him. Right in, I think that was a slapjack right in the back of the head. He smacked him right in between the head, back of the head. Oh, my God. Oh, He just left Ernie in a pile, a heap, and now he's just stomping on him. The Jersey trash is just stomping on him. Look at this piece of crap. I told you he was a piece of crap from Jersey. Because that's all they have in New Jersey. Pieces of crap like Matt Nitro. What an ass. Dirty, filthy, dirty, rotten. He don't deserve the win if he wins this. I tell you. Uh-oh. Oh, a and lot. there it was. Ooh, that's ooh, it. Paralyzer. Good night. Paralyzer. Uh, Good night. I don't, I don't see how he's coming back. I don't back see him coming in. No, I don't see him coming back up out of that. But one. look, he's not. He's, no, he's, there, there he goes. goes. He's going for the pin. What are, what are we gonna get, ref? What are we gonna get? No, 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 no! The shoulders one. up! The shoulders up! We got a two no, count! Ernie. We got a two count! Ernie's Ernie's too smart for that. Ernie's too smart for that. But he's bleeding profusely right where that that object hit him right in the head. He's got blood in his face. I don't know if he can see him. I don't even know if he can see Nitro at this point because the blood in his eyes. He's just. He's just bleeding. Oh, and, and we did a big leg drop. Mark. Look at that black and blue mark right in right in the forehead, where right where he hit him. See it? Do you see how it's turning black and blue already? It's red ah. and it's it's just it's just horrible. I thought that looking. was part of his makeup. No, <laughs> no not that. That's a big buddy. boot to the belly. Big boot Ooh, to the boot. belly. Another big one. Go ahead, wait. That's on okay. trolling, we got we got it, JC. We got it. <laughs> oh hey. my goodness. This has been an exciting match. It's kind of hard yes, to keep has. up with five people at once, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're doing a good job, though. I think we're doing a really good job. That's a tough <laughs> match, man. I tell you. Uh, we, right we, now, Matt Nitro yeah. just keeps laying those yeah. hits onto him. He's got the or elbow he strike. Care. Or he doesn't he's care. Ernie's just going to stand there. He's he's trying to chop him down. And Ernie's like, yeah, well, whatever. The heavy metal monster. The monster Shoe himself brought this man in. Yeah. Oof. Oh my goodness. What a oh. great, great cross hit right there. He just pushed him in there. Uh-oh. Oh, Irish like whipped him in, for them. Yeah, went for the spear, them. and now he's down. He laid yeah, that he spear. Would, Look at that big them. shoulder. Yeah. And uh, is he going to go for that cover? Is he? He, he thought about it. He's got it, the legs up. Three. And three. That's it. it. The match is over. Learning, the match is winner. over. Shoelaces, new man, has come in. And folks, I will read his stats one more time. From the endless graveyard at a height of 6 feet 8 inches at a weight of 275 pounds, the heavy metal monster brought in by our very own manager, Shoelace Evil Ernie. Evil Ernie is going to take your match, ladies, and that will do it for our show. Yep. This is it, folks. Thank you all for coming out. Once again, we do this for the fans, and we hope you all have enjoyed the show tonight. For uh, my my wonderful color man over here, I am I'm Wade. From the south of South Philadelphia, <laughs> JC, and this is JC, and we are out, folks. Thank you all for Thank coming. Thank you so much for coming. We'll see you next Tuesday, five o'clock. Next Tuesday. Looking forward to it. Nice night. Nice fight. Well done, JC. Well done, sir. Hey, buddy. It's okay. Wow. And thank you, Camera Kitty. Thank you for recording the matches tonight. We look forward to seeing the results and seeing yeah, them up online wonderful. so everybody can take a look at them. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, don't forget to check out our Facebook page and add us to your Facebook pages and like us, please. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone. Thanks for the good show. Good night, Miss Kitty. Good night, everybody. This video was filmed on location by Zarakan Productions. Zarakan Productions is an umbrella group for many YouTube shows and businesses both inside and outside of Second Life. Please go to zarakan.com for a complete listing of shows and businesses associated with Zarakan Productions, and their own media links. Zarakan Productions shows have been organized alphabetically in playlists in a year, 
month, day format for easier video navigation. Multiple part videos have been named accordingly starting with part 1, and the last video of a multiple part video series will have end as a part of its title. Please like, comment, and share this video as it helps both Zarakan Productions and the creators of this video's content. Also, be sure to check the playlists for past episodes of show content, and subscribe to this channel for future videos. Thank you for watching, and happy wandering.